A planning commission, which reported directly to the Prime Minister, was established on 15th March 1950 to design policies and come up with developmental plans to be followed for the economic development of the country. A mixed economy model was adopted, where the means of production and job creation are held by both the states and the private sector. The Commission started coming up with plans for the development of the country. The first five-year plan was formulated by the Planning Commission for the five years between 1951 and 1956. Its main focus was on agricultural development in the country. India is an agricultural country. Rice, wheat, maize, mustard, groundnut and sugarcane are our important food crops. Under the plan, many dams were built over major rivers for the development of agriculture. Examples of such projects include the Bhakra Nangal project, the Damodar Valley project, the Tungabhadra project, and the Nagarjuna project, among others. Farmers were taught modern agricultural methods. The government also provided good quality seeds and fertilizers to farmers. This plan was successful. The second five-year plan was formulated in 1956 for the five years between 1956 and 1961. Its main focus was industrial development. This plan focused on steel industries and on the building of large dams. Heavy industrial sectors were under the control of the state. The second five-year plan had many critics. Some people felt that the plan did not focus on agriculture and neglected primary education. Others, like Meera Ben, a follower of Mahatma Gandhi, said that modern science and advanced machinery on dams would have adverse effects on nature and that nature's balance should be maintained. This does make sense, right? If we keep on building industrial plants and facilities, bridges, dams and roads by cutting trees and clearing forests, how do we protect the environment? I should keep this in mind. More such five-year plans continued to take shape till 2017. The 12th five-year plan was the last plan carried out by the Planning Commission. The Niti Aayog undertook the role of the Planning Commission after 2017. It gave policy-based guide maps to the government. After so many years of independence, how much has the country progressed? Has the country achieved its goals so far? Yes and no. We are still suffering from discrimination, poverty, economic inequality, and issues like unemployment. Despite having constitutional rules and measures against untouchability, the concept is still prevalent in the country. In many parts of the country, people from lower castes are still subject to violence and discrimination. Sure, these cases have significantly reduced, but even one case of discrimination is one too many. You would not believe it, but in many parts of India, Dalits still don't have access to water because of discrimination. That is so unfair. I thought water is a basic necessity. Poverty has been plaguing our nation for ages. The vast gap between the rich and the poor is increasing day by day. The poor are getting poorer and the rich, richer. We also see fights between religious groups. Through all this, India still stands united. 
Despite being one of the most populated yet diverse nations, it has not torn apart. Many foreign observers had said that India will not be able to sustain herself as a single country. Some even thought that the country would come under military rule. However, we have remained an independent country with a free press, an independent judiciary with other democratic institutions. People practicing different religions and speaking different languages are a part of the fabric of this nation. The Republic of India might have many issues, but there is still reason to celebrate it and how far we have come. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.